Happy June. This is our kicking off summer hike. Today we're hiking the Saran St. Vrain Trail in Roosevelt National Forest, just uphill from the little town of Jamestown. It's about a six mile hike and out and back. We'll be hiking out to Miller Rock, which is a really cool viewpoint and we'll be climbing up hopefully and, and showing you all the view. Um, in the meantime, we're walking along the St. Vrain River at a really special time in Colorado spring. I guess it's just about, it's our summer, <laughs> but um, it's been a very wet spring that meant a lot of snow early on and a lot of rain. And this is one of those very rare times that Colorado feels just a little bit like the Pacific Northwest. We've been walking along the river for about two miles and now the trail turns into a four by four road and starts heading uphill. And now we have a nice view down into that river. It's been quite cool. We're at about 8,000 feet. And it's a good time of year for that elevation. All the snow has melted out. Um, it's a cool morning, a little bit chilly, but when the sun comes out and you're now walking uphill, and you warm up very quick. Well, here we are at Miller Rock. I have no recollection of how I got to the top last time. So I think we're gonna walk around and see if there's an easier approach than this side. Well, we're trying to make our way up, walked around this rock, and this looks like the easiest approach already get, getting great views and then I'll show you where we're gonna try to go up this way which from here looks a lot better than the other approaches. Hello from the top of Miller Rock. We scrambled up here it's not so bad I think the right approach and uh, we've got 360 degree views from here really good. Those are the Indian peaks of course Audubon being most prominent, all with Sawtooth and many others. If you look towards that direction, you've got the Mummy Range in Rocky Mountain National Park. And uh, let's just do the whole 360. Now that we're at the top of Miller Rock, we're going to sit and relax, enjoy the views, and enjoy a little early lunch. Helen, you want to describe what we're eating today? Well, our sandwich is my favorite hiking sandwich. It's like a modified caprese with uh, tomatoes, mozzarella, pesto, bomba sauce, which is hot peppers, and uh, balsamic vinegar. And I like it because it like marinates while you're hiking. It tastes really good when you get to your spot. And then uh, to go along with it, these are my favorite chips for, really for backpacking, but also for hiking. They're only, they're seasonal with Trader Joe's. They're called patio, and they are a mixture of four different flavors in one bag. What flavors we got? Um, barbecue, 
home style ketchup, sea salt and vinegar, and dill. Yummy. Some sort of dill. Delicious dill. And then our dessert. Pretty soon, I'm not sure if we'll be able to keep bringing these because these are my homemade Snickers bars. But since they don't have stabilizers, you need to keep them cold. So I brought an ice pack today and they'll be fine today. But once we get the real heat of the summer, they might have to be uh, kept in the cooler in the car for the return. All right, we just came down off of Miller Rock, which is behind us. We had a very nice lunch up there, enjoyed the view. And now we're gonna have a nice walk back. We're just about back to the car. It was about 6.7 miles hike. Uh, very nice, we enjoyed it. We sat and relaxed by the river just a little bit on our way back. And uh, one point of advice I'd have is this is a, can be a very busy trail. So, you know, it's a weekday and we had it almost to ourselves the entire time. There's some more folks here now, um, but it, it was for the majority of the hike we had it to ourselves. So come early on a weekend or come on a weekday. <laughs>